All right, Billy, I gotta head into town to get you some more saltine crackers. You're running out. You're just gonna handcuff me to the truck so you can go get some, some, some flipping saltine crackers. I wanna ask you a question. Have you thought about some real food? And what's up with your dog? What do you feed that thing? And who names a dog dog? You flipping rednecks? What kind of a name is dog? You know he threw up in the crate you kept me in last night? He threw up in the crate and it, he was like, and then he turns around and he just starts licking it up like, yes, he eat his own throw up. That is flipping disgusting, man. All right, Sippy, hand me the C4. All right, while I'm gone, you're gonna hang on to my C4. And this dead man switch, don't drop it. A dead man switch? What's a dead man switch? Well, Billy, a dead man switch, if you drop it, you're a dead man. All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stout Sergeant Badass. And today we're going to do a little experimental project I've been playing with. I think it's going to work, but you guys be the judge and jury and executioner. If you don't like it, you just let me know. But let's play around with it. I think it'll be fun. It's going to be kind of cool. Multi-weapon and multi-weapon so I'm gonna take you through the different weapons it can become storage options and purpose and use so I'm super excited you guys are lucky man check this out this just got here in the mail it just showed up leather stamp makers these guys hooked me up look how big this thing is it's a two by two of the channel logo isn't that cool? Step one survival. I can make patches now. So I can make two by two. And I, I need to shut up. All right. Let's get started on this. I'm super excited. I can actually make patches for folks. All right. So what I've got here, you guys might remember, I'll put the link below. I did a wrap on this. And this is a very long piece of PVC pipe. I'm turning into something unique. Now, um, you can stuff this full of all kinds of goodies. You can pick up one of these right next to it. Uh, this will be in the same sex. You just go down a section. You grab one length of these, of the PVC pipe, and you grab you a fitting and then your other connector. So you'll have a cap that goes on and off. Now there's going to be a lot that goes into this cap as we move on. But first off, I need to mark where this thing needs to be cut down. These are all the goodies, the possibilities you can stuff inside one of these. Mississippi, I have a question for you. What do you think the worm uprising will look like? What you do is I'm going to cap this for now because I'm probably going to have to hit it with a hammer to get it on there just to be on the safe side. But we're going to cap this and I'm just going to be using super glue. You can go get the industrial stuff for PVC pipe if you want. Me, I'm just making my video for today and I'm just gonna be using some super glue. Whatever you like. Let me get my hammer. And place and whack. Just like that. Go outside with you and show you some cool tricks for this thing so you can utilize. Just like that. The way this works, this is your sling. You just tie a couple of knots, cut you a notch right here. So you want it to, to belly around the item up here. This is the purpose of this. So what happens when you throw, you throw over your, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he's gonna act like he's such a professional, I'm not. All right, so let's go like this, right? And you would, wisp this thing Let's see if you can catch this just like this you know and the rock will be inside there and it's just going to come flying out because it slips right off of here so now I'm going to load it up with some ammunition 
I'm gonna go with a big rock. I, I figured we'll try a big rock first. So I'm gonna set the big rock, big old rock in there. Kind of can it. Getting the size ammunition for certain distances and things like that. I know a lot of people make videos about stuff like that. But you'll hold it like this until you get it where you want it. And I think I'm just gonna kind of go off into the distance over there. Not sure. It's kind of off in that distance. I, I don't know how to psych this thing in exactly. I don't want to. I don't want to jack anything up. So I still have to practice with one of these. All right. So there we go. Sits so down. Up like this. And perfect. <laughs> I'm not sure how far away that was. I hope I didn't hit anyone. <laughs> All right, so now you want a bow, which I didn't want to string it up too hardcore. Got one put together. You just take your arrows out, string them up. You could leave them the length of this. You could just put whole arrows in here the way it is. Set this up however you like. I'm just doing this for a demonstration. So you'd want it to pull back a little bit more because it's that's too close. I just didn't want to bend. I didn't want to mess around and bend this thing too much. I just want to make an example. There you go. That's right. So you just kind of put them together, give them a little twist as you put them in, and then you'll get minimum damage. Just like that so now I have two arrows in there if that's what I want to keep in there right there so now that I've got that done I'm just going to cap this side that's going to be the side for that and I'm going to leave the spike at the top because I don't know if I might run into trouble and I want to use that for something right now like I said there's a million different uses you could turn this into a flipping fishing pole or or whatever I don't need to demonstrate every single technique you could use for the same for but uh, you know it's the you guys get the point you know I've, I'm beating a dead horse here when it comes to survival stuff so blade you know obviously I want to wrap that up in something I'm not gonna go stuffing all this stuff in here I just want to look at the possibilities that you've got if you go to um, go prepared survival and look at their stuff he has on there uh, a lot of compact kits. And out of these compact kits, you get items like this. Now, I've got water purification. I've got uh, some, I've got boat matches that basically uh, you can submerge them in water. You've got um, uh, a razor blade. A uh, Now, this won't fit in here. It'd be nice, though. But this would be a signaling mirror. I have to toss that. But uh, there's all of this except for that will fit in here. All the way down at the bottom. It'll drop all the way in. I can do a flashlight. One of these little mini ones. It'll fit right in there. See that? So I can stuff that in there. So you kind of get the point. I'm telling you this because you kind of want to create your own. And this little uh, this little kit was the... Uh, it had the sh this, this has the sharpener has a sharpener a ferro rod and a cleaning tool but it also has like a bottle opener a small knife and whatever this is going to go with these tools this and this so i also wanted this because it's that little pocket fish of the wall tins thumb and this thing's really cool because it actually snips does your nails like you can clip your nails you want to clip your nails in a survival situation trust me they start getting really long and cranky uh you're going to want to cut them small knife can opener uh multi-tools you've got a pair of scissors in here and um i'm trying to remember all the different functions side nail clippers left and right and uh there's these are the tweezers so if you end up with something stuck in your arm or hand or whatever you can grab it with the tweezers and yank it out but this was used for like fly fishing or something like that but it's for a fish a fisherman tool and this thing surprisingly just fits right in there so now I've got a few tools this has uh, this has uh, 
some, uh, some, I'm just going to say s small amounts of medication. Now, you can get all kinds of crazy with your little pill bottles, but this has what I would need in a situation where, oh crap, it's a hand, it's, it's the fan, and I've just got this pole with me. This item here has a bunch of medical stuff in it, just for me. You can hear it. And I also have my fishing hooks, my weights, all that stuff. You can wind up some jute cord, put your surgical knife in there, throw in. This is cool. I found this at the store. Can't remember what section, but this is hand sanitizer, which is uh, pretty much alcohol, and it could be used as a fire starter. I just forgot to throw it out here just because it fits, if someone had that idea. Uh, these are made from straws. You could do straws if you don't have these little containers to do stuff. But uh, you could do cotton balls and Vaseline from these things with the straws. These are just straws you get at like Sonic or whatever. Uh, the big straws, right? You get the big straws. And you can put, uh, you know, your uh, Tylenol, aspirin, uh, Motrin, uh, your allergy relief stuff, whatever, right? Endless possibilities and do it in straws. Throw them in there, right? Uh, same with fishing line, but I've got these little fishing kits to utilize, zip ties to throw in there, char cloth, a pencil sharpener, and some fat wood. So I've got some fat wood over here. You could do one of these strikers. I just wanted to show you that it fits. That's the whole point of that. Show you that it fits. You might have to shave the handle down a little bit. Uh, or just get the, the handleless one. No handle. Just throw it in there. Uh, get these from the dollar store. These are uh, glow sticks. Drop them in there. Uh, you got some magnesium, get that fire pumped up right there. Uh, you've got these are great tender wicks. I buy them by the dozens and I keep them in our little camp kit. But uh, you can just drop these suckers in there. And I got a bunch of them already ready to go. That's how I'm going to drop them in there individually bagged instead of doing this. I want to show you the demonstration of that. And uh, there's a medical kit right over here that came from the same. Uh, 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 go go prepared uh, survival from the website they got all this stuff in their little mini kits little medical kit it's got all your little go-go's right in there and I can individually package it, shove it right down in there uh, I was curious this uh, with a little uh, famagulation you could probably fit that in there I'm not quite sure I don't think it's necessary to carry that around but if you get yourself some of this which is from the same company uh, this stuff here and I got a little piece cut off just to give you a demonstration but you can take this stuff and pull it out and re-roll it, re-roll it up into some nice little circular thing right there. See that? Do, 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 do. It's magic. And then shove it right down in there. And then you've got some of that with you. Boom. This mini lighter was the only thing that would sort of kind of come close to fitting in there. It's really close. No cigar. So to replace that, I picked uh, out of which one of those kits here it is this has the striker and this has the Spartan fire so there's your tinder there's this you can go with some UCO matches there's also some matches in here more waterproof matches you got some sweet fire that fits in there if you tear them off and uh, you can do rubber gloves this size those industrial strength gloves to carry water so there's your canteen uh, there's that now if you want to go real get real with it get yourself a coffee filter so you can filter your water and uh, you've got uh, your mylar bag you can use for all kinds. well this is your uh, oh, space blanket I'm running out of words space blanket a lot to say isn't it all right uh, but this little bag right here you can use uh, uh, so you can a lot of folks don't know you can do this, but you can actually, uh, if you do water purification tablets or whatever, take this and uh, it's kind of a transpiration kind of thing, I guess, but you just leave it in the sunlight, right? And the sun will do its own thing. It, if you got to leave it in the sun for like six hours, but you leave it in the sun, this will actually kill all the microorganisms from the sunlight. Sunlight beaming on it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's another way, but you know, you've got to do your research on it. You know, I'm just giving you ideas off the top of my head in a survival scenario if I have no other options, right? So I can't boil water because I don't have a pot. You know, you forgot to bring your uh, your extra special camping cook set that you bought online or from some other uh, some other fool gangster out there selling stuff. So, uh, but endless. 
even a survival saw fits in there, right? So, so many options for this, and that's what I wanted to share today. I'm going to finish mine, and I'm not sure how much crap I'm going to stuff in it yet, but I want to tell you where I'm going, and this is my idea, and I wanted to share, and this is me sharing. Now, real quick, before I get off here, at the end of this, I did another short little clip. If money were no object, right? Okay. How would you really enjoy spending your life? You know, if you ask this question to a group of high school kids or something like that, you know, they might say, well, you know, I'd like to be a writer or an artist or, you know, uh, play the clarinet or something like that, right? And they might say something along those lines and where they want to go live in the country and uh, ride horses or something, right? And, you know, whatever it is, and you pin that down and you figure out what it's going to be for that individual to enjoy their life, it's one of those moments you look at them and say, okay, you go and do that. And uh, forget the money, right? Forget the money. Can you pretend to forget the money? Yeah. So... Because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you'll spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living. That is to go on doing the things that you don't like doing, right? Which is stupid. better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. After all, you do really like what you're doing. You can eventually become a master at it. It's kind of like doing the leather work, right? You can eventually become a master at it and your fee can adjust, right? Your fee can get better. The better you get, the better the fee gets, right? So your work will be worth something, right? And you'll be doing what you love to do. That's how I like to look at the things that I do. But you have to be real with it. Because, trust me, somebody is interested in this very same things that you're interested in and somebody's always interested in pretty much everything it's like going into the armed forces if you go into the armed forces expecting a paycheck you're wrong because it's not what you joined it for so before you get into anything it's not about the money and that's just life but you can eventually become a master at something and you'll be blessed in the end